Right, so the ever-credible supply chain source, Min Chi Kuo has given us new details regarding Apple's AR slash VR headsets, and so let's delve into it, but first make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumours, and with that being said, let's just tuck in. Right, so the first tidbit Min Chi Kuo tells us is regarding the release date. He believes we could see this headset launch around late 2022. Now this does make sense because, like I've mentioned in previous videos, Apple ideally wants to release this headset at the September event alongside the new iPhones. And that's because the iPhone event is by far Apple's biggest event every single year, so of course, for this new product, they need the most press and also public attention, and so announcing this as a one more thing at the iPhone event would of course give it the largest audience. Apple did a very similar thing to this with the original Apple Watch that was announced at the 2014 September event alongside the iPhone 6, and so yes, I do see Apple repeating that with this headset and the iPhone 14 release. Though do remember that much like the Apple Watch, I can see Apple announcing the headset in late 2022, but of course releasing it to the public much later on. And also do remember that Apple does plan to go back to the in-person events, and I can see why this headset deserves a live audience, since it's going to be a massive announcement, and they also need the media to go hands-on with these devices as soon as Apple's done with the event. And so yes, I can see Apple transitioning back to the in-person events, with of course the big September event, and so with the iPhones, we can see the media go hands-on with this headset. Anyways, moving on to the power of this headset, Minchiko gives us some pretty interesting details. So for one, Quo says the headset can operate by itself without needing a connection to your iPhone, your iPad, or even your Mac. So yeah, this is going to be a standalone product, and the power inside this headset is going to be pretty impressive. So Quo says there could be two chips within this headset, one of them is going to be on the levels of the M1 chip we have right now in the Max, and that's going to be for the computing powers this headset needs, and there's also another chip that should be less powerful that handles the sensor-related computing. But yeah, the main chip having the power of the M1 is pretty insane, and to be fair, I'm not surprised because of course, we've heard about this having a gaming focus in previous reports, and so for all this gaming, the M1 power is very much needed. Also, Quote mentions the headset requires at least 6 to 8 optical modules to produce continuous video of the user's surroundings when they're using AR services. And also do remember the displays are going to be dual 8K panels, and so again the M1 power is needed to run these amazing displays. So yeah, this report has definitely got me hyped for this headset, and I very much see this as a home entertainment device, and so in many ways, this could replace your TV very very soon. Anyways, tell me in the comments below guys, do you think this headset is gonna take off? Anyways, thank you for watching guys, make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumours. Check out the video in the code above on details regarding the iPod Touch 8, and on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya peeps.